A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up onto a mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly, two men were talking with him, Moses and Elijah. They appeared in glory and spoke of his passage, which he was about to fulfill in Jerusalem. Peter and those with him had fallen into a deep sleep, but awakening, they saw his glory and likewise saw the two men who were standing with him. When these were leaving, Peter said to Jesus, Master, how good it is for us to be here. Let us set up three booths, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not really know what he was saying. While he was speaking, a cloud came and overshadowed them. And the disciples grew fearful as the others entered it. Then from the cloud came a voice which said, This is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. When the voice fell silent, Jesus was there alone. The disciples kept quiet, telling nothing of what they had seen at that time to anyone. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Bless this and worthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart. And that those people who listen, listen with the heart, not just with the ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Dear friends, you know, every Sunday, I pray that prayer before the homily, because I know it, it is the Lord who speaks. And picture this, we are heard worldwide, different languages. Some were saying, sana Tagalog, there are people also abroad, so, you know, the people naman say, sana English, more, more English. So, I say, Holy Spirit, bahala na po kayo. It's the Holy Spirit that will speak to the hearts of people. All right? And we're talking of different ages. I have people, children who come, and they're bringing the ukulele like Benedict or Father Jay, and, and all these so, children. Uh, middle-aged old people so again it's the Holy Spirit that will do the work the message so that's why I really pray Lord just use me in any way I can be of help and that's the only desire to share to share what the Lord wants me to share it's not me it's him and oh speaking of the, the instrument we thank Father Rian Orlandes, SBD, the one who read the gospel. Uh, is he on vacation for the first time from the foreign mission? First home vacation from Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Three months lang ako dito sa Pilipinas, right? Then he'll be going back. So, um, mission and uh, sisters and brothers, you know, today is the... I don't know if it's called Transfiguration Sunday. Well, anyway, the gospel is about transfiguration. So before we go on, excuse me lang ho, ah, pakitigdan mo ngayon katabi mo yung figure niya. Um, <clears throat> At sabi mo sa katabi mo, Hi, Transfiguration Sunday ngayon. Mm -hmm. Tignan mo siya ulit. Hello, Transfiguration Sunday ngayon. <laughs> um, you know, we're talking only of physical transfiguration. But you know, and I know that more than the physical transfiguration, it's the chains of heart. The chains of heart 
that we all need. And how, aside from the chains of heart, chains of mind, chains of mindsets, and further on, chains of habits, chains of lifestyle. The question we should always ask is, am I, am I becoming more and more like the Lord, like Christ? Am I changing for the better? And this is an urgent message, especially for those like me, senior citizens, in the sunset years of our lives. Oh, nagbabago na ba tayo? Nagiging mas malapit ka na ba kay Lord? There are people who are listening right now who are very sick. And I think when you are sick or you are sad, the transfiguration becomes more real. I'd just like to share with you, those of you who are growing to any pain or, hey, a broken heart is an open heart. Anyone who has experienced sickness, pain, uh, separation, death, you're so open to God's heart. So, Mark Kapatid, any time we are, we are open to transfiguration. Okay, so what can change us? In an instant, I can say, my ba, oyabang all his life, all her life, what can change us? Kakatok at kakatok po si Lord eh. Sickness. How can you explain? Cancer. Or whatever. Bankruptcy. Sometimes binabatukan tayo ni Lord. That's a call for change already. Oh. Uh, death of a loved one. So, Please, do not, do not belittle these things. When God is knocking at your door, at your heart, open up. Open up. If today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. And you know what, what, what should have changed us by now? The pandemic. Today, March na? The, the lockdown, March, you remember? Anybody remembers? Two years ago, March 20. Yeah. So, what have we learned? What has changed in you? I'm so disappointed that some people, as if walang nangyari, wala lang. <laughs> Sayang. So, please listen to the Lord. Listen to Him. This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. And that brings us to what can really change us. I believe prayer. Prayer is the game changer. If nothing is happening in your spiritual life, Two things. Either you're not praying or you're not praying enough or you're not praying right. Right. I don't want to tell what's wrong or right, but I believe, mga kapatid, look, look at Jesus. In the gospel, we describe his face changed in appearance and number two, his clothing became white, dazzling white. Something changed. When did it happen? When Jesus was in deep prayer, Mount Tabor, with the three disciples, Peter, James, and John. He was in deep prayer, and he was transfigured before their very eyes. So, mga kapatid, it is prayer that can change you and me. So, ask yourself today, parang, parang walang nagbabago sa akin, pareho pa rin. Maybe you're not praying. Maybe you're not praying enough. 
maybe you're not praying right. Okay, what is praying right? I really like to believe that praying right is listening. Are you really listening to God? Ito nga po eh, yung sinasabi natin, dasal ng dasal, pareho pa rin ng asal. Why? Maybe you're not really listening. If you listen long enough to me, you find a way to believe that it's all true. Parang kanta yun. If you listen long enough to me, wala na naman nakaka-relate, hindi bali na lang, okay na lang. Find a way to believe that it's all true. Listen long and listen enough. Because many times, ito pong nangyayari sa atin. Listen, the words listen, i-jumble natin, you come with the word silent. Ah, so be quiet. Some people pray kasi, parang they give instructions to God. Lord, I want this. Ha? Lord, dapat mag... Keep talking, you keep talking. Ang hirap po makausap ang taong palaging nagsasalita. Sa totoo lang. And there are people who just keep talking. They don't even say, Oy, kumusta? Ano? Wala, diretso na. They keep talking their ideas, their, their projects, their possessions. It's all about them. You know, the desiderata says something like, avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. Sa totoo lang po, if we listen really to others, a lot of things will surface. Please, number two, prayer is a conversation. And you know, in any conversation, don't monopolize. Tama ba yun? Monopolize the conversation. Conversation nga kaya hearing and speaking. Both. Oh. Sa bahay nyo, sinong speaker of the house? Speech ng speech. Sometimes you just need a conversation. You don't. May mga tao kasi pag conversation, parang audience nila yung kausap nila eh. They need an audience palagi. May nakikinig na sa mga, oh, that's the same thing we do to God. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 And uh, mayroong kwento nga po eh, nung mayroong yatang impeachment trial. So, uh, I don't remember now who it was, but Tinanong siya, uh, Mr. President, uh, you know, you have to answer this question, question. Quiet. Mr. President, you know, you are in trial, you have to. Um, finally, why are you not answering our questions? I thought this was a hearing. Mayroon palang speaking. <laughs> hearing lang ito, di ba? <laughs> Bakit may speaking pa? Well, but in prayer, it's hearing and speaking. So, next time you pray with all your novena, ganyang kakapal, rosary, dapat matapos ko lahat ito, fine. But you see, you're quantifying prayer. I think what the Lord is telling us, quality. When you pray, do not babble with words like the pagans do, thinking that the more they babble, the more they will get the favors. No, you cannot manipulate God. Lord, ah, katapusin ko ito, pero points ko ta, point, point system. Sometimes, the best prayers are, have no words. It's be better to have a heart without words than words without a heart. And please remember, some of the best prayers are said with tears. Have you cried with your God? If you have cried with your God, then you know, you know what prayer is. 
And sometimes the best prayers are the pain you go through. Physical pain. I cannot imagine the pain of someone who has cancer. The pain of... These are prayers. So, my suffering is my offering. My tears, O oh Lord, are my offerings. Something like that. So, dear friends, uh, don't monopolize, don't give distraction, and don't just scroll. <laughs> I, I see people scrolling many times. Please don't do scrolling in the table, dining room table, okay? Make that a simple rule, being present. Anyway, scroll ka nang scroll, you're not really, just, it's all here. Is that how we pray sometimes? When you pray, you go to a room, you quiet corner, you leave everything. You go up the mountain, the mountain top experience. So that's one more thing. Do you have a regular time, a regular place to pray? Father, I can pray anywhere, anytime. Yes. But you may end up praying. You're not praying at all. But at least kung may regular time and place ka na, you know you've set aside that special time. Somebody said, the most important appointment in your day is your appointment with God. Pero karamihan sa atin, it's just on the side. Tapos yan na lang natin ito kasi I have, sa totoo lang, I have bigger things to do. Aren't we all guilty of that? Mabadali na lang natin, paspasan na natin kasi you know, whatever it is, there's a TV, there's a whatever you want to do or the work, Aren't we all just many times parang prayer is just spare tire? Mea culpa. My fault. And for the millennials, my bad. Yun pala yun, my bad. Meron nga nagmisa na kwan, para, kwan daw para relate sa millennials. I confess to Almighty God, brothers and sisters, I have seen through my own Bad, through my bad, through my bad, through my most grievous bad. Relate, no? But my point is this, mga kapatid. Dear friends, please find today suggestion lang po. Have a one day of the week, a day of prayer and fasting. Especially Lent and season. Yung, I'll, I mean, I'm going to really spend time. My day is about being close to God the whole day. The whole day. I listen. I'll find quiet corner. Extra prayer. Fasting from food, from sweets, oy, transfiguration, from <laughs> meat, whatever. Fasting from shouting, from chismes, from... The, that's for the week extra day of prayer and fasting. And, mga kapatid, in your everyday, it's a quiet time. Uh, I know a friend who says, Father, I'm in my prayer mountain. She goes to her, the rooftop, and she prays waiting for the sunrise. At the same time. These are little things. Some of you have, uh, mayroon kayong prayer room sa bahay? Things like that. So, and this is what the Lord telling you every day. Listen to this. Kakanta na naman ako. Ewan ko kung makaka-relate kayo. The Lord telling you, There's a place for us. A time and a space for us. Peace and quiet and open air. Take my hand. Isa lang nakaka-relate dito sa mga pare. Diyos ko. Hello, Father Jay. <laughs> okay, anyway, there must be a time and place for us, Lord. Make that time, make that place. Amen. Okay, and finally, the gospel says, they saw His glory. Peter, James, and John, they saw His glory. It was in prayer when they saw the glory of God. Excuse me po. How often do we pray and do we really feel and experience the presence and the glory of God? Many times, no. You know why? Because you're not focused on the Lord. You're focused on your load. 
your problems, mga kaaway mo. It's all about you. Praying is, Lord, these are realities, but this, you are bigger than all these. You must see the glory of God. Otherwise, you pray walang nangyari because you were just thinking about yourself. Set that aside. Maybe that's what transfiguration. Lord, these are realities in my life. I have a loved one who is sick. I don't have a job anymore. These are my load, Lord. But I know you are bigger than my load. Go back to Mama Mary. Magnificat. That's the way to pray. Aha, aha. That's the way. Yes. You know why? My soul magnifies the Lord. You make the Lord bigger than these problems, these trials. And I'd like to tell you again, God is bigger than your problems. Don't magnify your problems. Magnify the Lord. Because if you magnify your problem, you become selfish, self-centered. Lord, these are problems, but I know you love me. God is bigger than your sins and my sins. God's love is greater than we can imagine. God is bigger than, than your loved ones. Don't forget that God loves the people you love. And only He can love them more than you can love them. So, they oh, ito naman mga iba, they magnify their load, material load and blessings. Wow, loaded ka with material blessings. And you magnify your blessings and you forget the giver of your blessings. That's the way we should pray. Lord, you're bigger than everything. Everything is passing. If that's the way you pray, something changes in you. And another thing is persevering prayer. Stay on. Pray on. Did you know that Mother Teresa, when he started his work with the poorest, poorest of the poor in India, I read that she, she didn't have the consolations of prayer. Dryness. Spiritual dryness. But she continued to pray in that little chapel every day, every night. She continued to do her work even if she could not feel the presence of God many times. She persevered. Marami kasi sa atin, pag, ah, wala nang consolation of God, so, ah, hindi na ako magdadasal. No, stay. Stay on. Something is happening without you knowing it. Papa and Mama, really, I, I would like to thank my Papa and Mama, our Papa and Mama, because they taught us how to pray. That's one of the best gifts I, I received from my parents. Parents, please remember that. Because they are gone now, but I'm strong. We are strong because we know how to pray. Please, parents, are you teaching the children really to stay on with the Lord? Kapit toko kay Lord. Okay, kapit toko. At for us, makasalanan, kapal moks to the Lord. Lord, I will stay on kahit kapal moks na po ako. That's what the Lord asks all of us today. And even in your pain, stay on, kapit to the Lord. Even in your tears, kapit toko to the Lord, okay? But don't forget too, Fruitful prayer. <laughs> dasal ka ng dasal. Anong fruits? You have big mango, but wala naman. Wala namang fruits. So, are you becoming a better person? Are you perhaps praying for others too? Intercessory prayer. As I speak, you know, my heart goes to, well, Ukraine. God, people are suffering and dying. Why? What for? Always pray, please. Pray. There are people who have bigger problems than you and I. Don't forget that. Alam nyo, kung wala nang magawa sa buhay ako, many of you are doing just Pray intercessory prayers the rest of your life. My God, what a beautiful life. Yan. I still dream the time when I would just be in a 
quiet place, maybe monastery or something, with Father Jay, whatever, uh, and just spend the day praying for others. We thank the, those contemplatives who are always praying for us. Prayer is powerful. So, pray for the elections. Goodness will triumph if we all sincerely pray. God will make a way. Nothing is impossible with God. Believe and keep on believing, please, that God is on the side of the good. Pray. And finally, you know, prayer changes people. Oh, kung may kaaway ka, pagdasal mo yung taong yun. Before you know it, nagbabago. Ito pa. Uh, pray to the guardian angel of that person. Meron kang problemang tao, o oh, guardian angel ni yun, sabihin mo naman si mo para magbago na, ugali ka. You see, prayer works. <laughs> Believe for nothing is simple. Prayer is powerful. It changes situations. And, you know what? It changes you and me. Lord, change my heart, O oh God. Pray for more. Lord, change our mindsets, our hearts, our habits, and our lifestyles. And don't forget, uh, in Udi ko, I have to tell this again, kasi yung mindset natin, I realize the the, the beauty of that thing called pighati. <laughs> pighati ka ng pighati kasi ang dami kang ang lalim na mga hurts mo. Eh, kung magdadasal ka, pwede mong i-pork chop lang yan. Pighati, pork chop. Pag nagdasal ka, pwede naman palang i-pork chop yan. I-pork chop mo, i-lift up mo. I-pork chop mo, i-lift up mo. Yun. Pag nagdadasal ka na, pakanta-kanta ka, better. God is a loving God who wants to converse with us. Bakit naman, every time mag-converse ka kay Lord, panay naman yung mga pighati. You can tell Him also your joys, your gratitude. It should be a very loving conversation. Sisters and brothers, so today, transfiguration should lead us to sacrifice more and good works. P-S-G. Prayer, sacrifice, and good works. This is what we ask the Lord today. And may we honor this early, St. Joseph, the silent one. Not even one spoken word in the Bible from St. Joseph. He said nothing. Meron nga yung bata raw, worried siya, bad I'm so worried I have a role in our school play for Christmas. And the dad said, what is your role? I'll be St. Joseph, dad. Don't worry. You'll not speak any word anyway. Just keep... <laughs> oh, mga St. Joseph Jan. So there are St. Josephs and ano naman yung masyado madaldal? What do you call them? I don't know. Are you a Joseph or a... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the man who listened the man who focused on the Lord, the man who persevered, and the man who bore fruits for others, for Mary and Joseph. St. Joseph, pray for us. So, sisters and brothers, may the Lord transform, transfigure us all. Lord, we still have so many things to learn about loving, about true humility and true service. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. One Samuel. Yes, Lord. Help us to listen to you more. Help us to listen to other people more. Change our hearts, O oh God. Like Mama Mary, the woman who listened and obeyed. 
Amen, Lord. Amen.